The breathtakingly gorgeous snow leopard is still widely considered to be one of the most fascinating cats in the world. The snow leopard is a master of stealth and camouflage, traits that have served it well in its highly adapted habitat on the icy and rocky slopes of High Asia. Because it is so rarely witnessed by people, it is commonly referred to as the ghost of the mountains. It has also become a symbol for these stunning landscapes, which hold a varied array of one-of-a-kind high-altitude species and provide essential ecosystem services for hundreds of millions of people. These landscapes have become an icon because of their critical importance. It is estimated that more than 330 million people live within 10 kilometers of rivers that originate in snow leopard habitats and are immediately affected by the water pouring down from these mountains. This gorgeous and endangered cat, which is well adapted for living in the chilly atmosphere of the Central Asian mountains, especially the Himalayas, is designated as vulnerable on the IUCN Red List. The Himalayas are included in this region. It has a thick coat whose beauty entices poachers, and it has enormous paws that serve the same purpose as snowshoes and allow it to move over the snow with ease. Both of these characteristics attract poachers. In addition to its lustrous fur, this animal is distinguished by its small ears, which enable it to retain heat, as well as its long, powerful hind legs, which enable it to leap from cliff to cliff. Habitat These leopards are distributed in the mountainous regions of Central Asia, including Siberia, Nepal, China, and Bhutan. The environment in which they live is rough and rocky. The cats live in elevations that range from 9,843 to 14,764 feet above sea level. During the winter months, however, it descends to elevations as low as 2,953 feet in order to follow its food. This is because the cat has not evolved to survive in environments with very low oxygen content. The snow leopard steers clear of open fields, pastures, and densely forested areas. China is home to the vast bulk of the world's snow leopard population, but snow leopards can be found in both Central and South Asia. Although the Himalayan mountain area is where they are most frequently seen, they can also be found in other mountain ranges around Asia. Seasonally, snow leopards can be found in a variety of geographical places. They do not leave the mountains during the summer months where they spend their time hunting above the tree line. Their preferred hiding locations are areas of broken, rocky terrain that are characterized by numerous outcrops and ridges. The snow leopards move down from the mountains during the winter when their prey leaves their hunting sites because of the colder weather. They spend the winter at their lower elevations of the forest where there is more cover. They are more prone to hunt livestock now that there is a lower availability of prey. It is estimated that China is home to approximately 60% of the world's snow leopard population. Since 2009, the nonprofit organization Panthera has collaborated with partners in the Chinese regions of Qinghai, Sichuan, and Xinjiang on research and community-based conservation operations. Prey Snow leopards actively pursue prey down steep mountainsides, using the energy of their first leap to hunt animals for up to 300 meters in a single pursuit. They then consume all of the edible components of the prey's carcass after dragging it to a secure spot. They may get by on the meat of a single Himalayan blue sheep for a period of two weeks before needing to hunt again, and it is believed that an adult individual requires 20 to 30 adult blue sheep per year. There is evidence that snow leopards may hunt successfully in groups, particularly when they are trying to mate. The snow leopard is capable of killing the vast majority of animals that live within its range, with the adult male yak being the likely exception. In addition to that, it consumes a considerable amount of vegetation, such as grass and twigs. The Himalayan blue sheep and the Siberian ibex are the species that fall victim to them most frequently. In addition to that, they will hunt mountain sheep, camels, horses, tars, and mark horrors in the Himalayas. Smaller mammals like pikas, voles, and marmots have been reported to fall prey to these predators when larger prey is in short supply. Behavior the size of a snow leopard's body from its head to the base of its tail is approximately 75 to 150 centimeters. The tail itself adds an additional 80 to 105 centimeters, making snow leopards the smallest of the big cats. The average weight of a snow leopard is between 22 and 55 kilograms. However, researchers have found huge males that can weigh up to 75 kilograms. The snow beast is most active just before dawn and just before nightfall and during the day it wanders aimlessly from one part of its territory to another. They have a propensity to spend several weeks at a time in a single piece of their territory before moving on to another. They are content as long as they are at least 1.24 kilometers away from the nearest snow leopard, and males will not put up with other males encroaching on their territory. 
the snow leopard will scrape the ground, urinate, and defecate to mark its territory. They are quite good at climbing as well as jumping, and they prefer to rest on high structures that provide them with a good view of the surrounding area as well as any potential prey. These leopards do not make roaring sounds, but they do have a wide variety of other vocalizations, including purring. They can also make sounds like meowing, moaning, yowling, and chuffing, which is also known as prustening. They communicate not only with their voices, but also with their bodies. The way in which a snow leopard moves its tail, much like the way house cats do, can reveal the animal's disposition. Additionally, they stroke one another's heads and necks. When they are feeling defensive, they will show their teeth, but when they are simply interested in something, they will open their jaws without showing their teeth. Mating Strategy During the months of January through March, snow leopards have their young. They will communicate their ability to mate through a number of different sounds, including purring and chuffing amongst others. The male snow leopard will return to his territory once the breeding season is over. The female then builds a nest in a secure location, which is typically a rock crevice. Following this, the female is pregnant for approximately 90 to 100 days, and as a result, her offspring are born in the spring within a den that the mother is lined with her own fur. A young snow leopard is referred to as a cub at this stage in its life. The mother will often give birth to between two and three cubs, but she may bear as many as seven. At birth, a newborn might weigh anything from 11 to 20 ounces. It is fully dependent on its mother, despite the fact that it is blind and already has fur on its body. It takes seven days for the eyes to open and then another several weeks before it is able to walk. When the infant is approximately two and a half months old, it begins to be weaned and at the same time, it also begins to emerge from the den with its mother and its siblings. In the wild, leopards can expect to live between 15 and 18 years, although captive leopards can expect to live much longer. IUCN Status These leopards are apex predators, meaning that they are hunted by very few other animals outside humans. Leopards and snow leopards that share a territory are more likely to engage in violent conflict for few resources, and snow leopards are known to kill leopard babies. Snow leopards almost never attack humans, although they are known to hunt livestock, which can lead to conflict with local communities and farmers. Snow leopard attacks on humans are extremely rare. Even though there is only known evidence of two attacks on humans by snow leopards, these cats are routinely killed as vengeance for the loss of cattle. In addition, their skin and bones are unlawfully poached for the trade market. Their fur fetches a great price on the underground market and various portions of their bodies are utilized in the practice of traditional Chinese medicine. The IUCN World Conservation Union's Red List of Threatened Species places the snow leopard in the category of vulnerable threatened species. Also, their natural prey has also been taken to excess, and a significant portion of their habitat has been either gone or fragmented. The effects of climate change have resulted in forests being able to expand further into mountain ranges. This implies that the snow leopard must compete for resources with other carnivores like leopards and tigers, which often avoid the treeless cliffs and ridges that are occupied by their relative, the snow leopard. Farmers also kill snow leopards, who are known to feed on cattle when they are unable to find their natural prey. It is challenging to make an accurate assessment of the wild snow leopard population, which is now estimated to be around 6,000 individuals because snow leopards have a propensity to reside in relatively inaccessible places and are extremely difficult to detect. All right, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel for more updates.